YouTube and welcome back to my channel today. Today's video is going to be an empties video and you all know how much I love filming these types of videos for you guys. They are my all time favorites to sit down and film because I get a ton of positive feedback and from you guys letting me know that you really enjoy listening to my mini reviews. So let's just jump in and get started. Of course all my empties are in my empties bin and I picked this up at TJ Maxx, Marshalls or Home Goods. I see them there all the time and they are very handy for throwing in all my empties because when I didn't have an empties bin sometimes I would accidentally throw away my empties before they made it into a video. So the first thing on top is this Ahava mineral bath salt and this is in the scent Calming Lavender. It looks like this and there was a ton of bath salts in this product this is 32 ounces and I picked it up at Marshalls for $9.99 so great bargain um, it's compared at $20 and I probably would pay $20 for these because I really like using bath salts when I'm in the bath or I like using a lush bath bomb I mean if I'm gonna take the time to relax and sit in a bath and you know unwind then I want something in there like I want bath salts I want bubbles I want something to keep me occupied so the lavender scent smells so good. You guys know I'm a huge fan of lavender and rose scented products. So I will probably repurchase this sometime in the future. It's just that right now, last year my aunt um, purchased some bath salts and gave it to me for a holiday and they were lavender as well. They're from like a little mom and pops like homemade hand shop and I have really been enjoying them. But of course I'm going to have to repurchase some type of soothing bath, you know, addition in the future because once I run out, I'm gonna need something, you know? The next product is a dry shampoo and this is the Batiste dry shampoo in the dark and deep brown shade. So it looks like this. And my sister actually picked this up for me um, a while ago. She picked it up at TJ Maxx for $5.99 and she knows how much I love using dry shampoo on days that I'm not working where I don't wanna wash my hair. And I mean, this used to be my holy grail. I used to be obsessed with the Batiste dry shampoos, but I have been recently using the dry bar dry shampoo and it blows the Batiste out of the water. Now their price point is more expensive. It's 20 something dollars um, for one can, but I do believe you get more um, in the dry bar container than you do in the Batiste. And it just doesn't leave that like that texturized feeling in my hair which I really don't like so I probably won't go ahead and repurchase this anytime in the near future because I do really love the dry bar one I mean it's the one that I've been using for a while now and it just does an amazing job of cleaning my hair and like making it not look as oily without leaving that like gunky build up feeling that I just cannot stand the next product is a conditioner and this is the AG Hair Care Color Saver Conditioner and I picked these up at Ulta. Um, they normally go on discount three times a year I want to say and these bottles are 50 something dollars like originally retail price but when they do go on discount they are usually I want to say like 30 or 40 percent off and that to me is pretty reasonable especially since it is a leader this is my all-time favorite holy grail conditioner that i've ever tried like high-end or drugstore in my opinion so if you have dry damaged hair or processed hair or you just need like really like a deeply hydrating moisturizing conditioner check this out it comes in a smaller size as well and i want to say they come in travel sizes but i highly highly recommend this line it has worked miracles for my hair you guys know i went from brown to red to purple back to like dark brown black and this stuff has made such a huge difference in the condition of my hair it's not nearly as brittle or like damaged in my opinion in like i just I can't say enough good things about this conditioner. Um, AG is cruelty free, which I absolutely love. It smells amazing. And I mean, I have a pump on mine, but I put it in my new one that I currently have in my shower. So I mean, it's very convenient. And this lasts like for a decent amount of time. I use a ton of conditioner. So this will usually last like six weeks, eight weeks in my opinion. But I mean, if you have, um, if you don't use as much or if you have a shorter hair, then you could probably get away with repurchasing this every like three months but I've already gone ahead and repurchased two of these I picked up another one from like a different line in this brand and it's a little bit thinner but I've been using a couple pumps of one and a couple pumps of the other and it's been working really well for my hair another hair care product is the Paul Mitchell ultimate color repair shampoo and this is the quinoa repair 
And this is for colored heated hair as well. Now I haven't been coloring my hair at all recently because I just want it to grow out and not be as damaged looking, but I love this stuff. It smells really good. It works really well. It, I do think it helped preventing my color from fading, even though like I haven't colored my hair in like three months. Um, I picked this up at the a salon that I get my hair cut and I just love Paul Mitchell products. They're another brand that is cruelty free. Um, they, Paul Mitchell and AG are the two brands that I use for my hair when it comes to like shampoo and conditioner that are cruelty free. And then when it comes to styling products, I use Paul Mitchell as well and I use Dry Bar. But I want to try some of the AG styling products as well. So um, I would go ahead and repurchase this. It's just that I have the big size of a Paul Mitchell shampoo right now, which is just the Awa Pui line, and I've really been enjoying it. I haven't really come across a Paul Mitchell hair care product that I haven't enjoyed yet, so. But I would definitely think about repurchasing this in the future if or when I decide to dye my hair again. And then this is a Lush product. This is the Prince Charming Shower Gel, and it is a sweet, fruity pomegranate vanilla shower gel. This was, I want to say, limited edition um I picked up two of them and this was my like this was the last one that I used up so I don't have any more lush body washes which is quite sad but I mean I'm just gonna wait until rose jam comes out during the holiday season because that's my all-time favorite shower gel this one smelled good it's very fruity so I did mix it with the um with my other shower gel that I used up in my last empties video which was the green one I forget what it was called but it had like pepper and like patchouli and stuff because this one was really really sweet almost to the point where I couldn't use it by itself so I probably won't go ahead and repurchase Prince Charming again because I like to mix my body washes but I also like to be able to use them completely on their own without being like overwhelmed or overpowered by the scents so that is gone and then the next products I mean, there aren't too many left, but um, I did use up another of the Chanel um, eye makeup remover. You guys know that this is one of my favorites. I get these as gratis from Mark, um, but I did just pick up another one of the Sonia Kashuk eye makeup remover from Target Online. It's my favorite eye makeup remover, the Sonia Kashuk, and Sonia Kashuk is cruelty free. Chanel isn't. I do want to mention that. But the Sonia Kashuk removes everything and it's very gentle and it doesn't like you don't have to like drag the cotton pads across your eyes so highly recommend this new kashik one it's 10.99 i want to say and i normally just order them through target.com because it's always hit or miss when you go into a target to find it a lot of the times they don't carry them or they don't have them in stock so and then I used up a toothpaste. This is the Colgate Max Fresh toothpaste. It looks like this. I normally get these ones because they're convenient to travel with when I go away for the army. But um, I'm not going to repurchase this because Colgate isn't cruelty free. And there are other cruelty free toothpaste that I've really been enjoying um, that I've been using at my house for a very long time now. So I'm just using up the rest of my travel ones in my military travel bags. And then I will go ahead and probably repurchase the nature skate one because that i have found to be my favorite one out of all the cruelty free toothpaste that i've tried um it has a minty flavor to it and it's not like overly sugary how most traditional toothpaste are because they have like all those artificial flavors in them and then i finished up a clarisonic head i forget which one this is i mean I know I, I've only had this for like a month and a half or two months, but my sister did pick up the cashmere one um, or a dupe for the cashmere one on Amazon and I wanted to try that out. So I figured why not let this one go because I've already been using it for a little while. But I mean, I probably could save it. I'm, I mean, I just don't need two Clarisonic heads at the same time. And then I finished up a um, Sonoma Naturals Jojoba Oil. Um, this is a facial serum and... I liked this originally when I got it, but then it just has a dropper applicator, but then I stored it for a little while like in my vanity and then I was a bit nervous about using it on my face. So what I did is I just mixed it in with like my body lotion and I applied it on my arms and my decollete before I would go to bed or when I would get out of the shower. And I mean, I feel like I noticed a little bit of a difference. It's not like super affordable but it's not super expensive i mean i think this was like 10 or 15 dollars for this bottle so i wouldn't go ahead and repurchase it just for that purpose or i would repurchase like a larger size 
But next time I pick up a facial like serum, I will definitely use it like when I purchase it. So that way it doesn't like I don't feel nervous about it going bad. But I do want to get into like serums and facial moisturizers and like oils and essential oils and all that stuff. I just have to do a little bit of reading and research. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them down below. I do have a rosehip seed oil one that I've been using like on my arms and on my neck that I've been enjoying as well. But same goes for this one, the rosehip seed oil I've had probably like for a year and I just don't know the like, I don't know enough about serums to know when they go off and when like we shouldn't be using them on our face. And that is another reason why I've been minimizing the amount of beauty products that I've been purchasing because I would hate for something to go off just because I didn't feel like using it for a while. And then I used up, um, this is a Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment sample and I love these. You guys know this, Glam Glow is my favorite like mask company. I get these from Mark so I haven't had to purchase it. But this one is one of my all time two favorites. It smells like licorice which I'm not too crazy about but I really love these samples. I do notice that they just like suck everything out of my pores and like help me detox my skin especially since I do wear makeup like five or six days a week and I just I really love this mask so I highly recommend this mask and um I probably will purchase it at some time in the future but right now I just get samples from work and that's been holding me over because I don't mask too frequently maybe like once every other week and then I finished up my NARS um, sheer matte foundation in the shade medium for Barcelona I finished this up like right after I filmed my last empties video because I haven't been in this shade in a while since I haven't self tan but this shade is I this line is discontinued from NARS so I can't go ahead and repurchase it um, I probably would think about doing so because I really did like the formulation of this it did keep me pretty like um, demi matte throughout the day but I have so many other foundations at the current moment that even if they were currently selling this I wouldn't be purchasing it you know anytime in the near future and then this was a sad day um, I had a deluxe size sample of the NARS audacious mascara that I want to say I either received in a Sephora play box or like a Sephora um, discount code and I went, I've only used it a, like a very small handful of times and I went to go use it the other day and then the brush fell out of my hand onto the ground and rolled underneath my vanity and collected some dust. So there was just no way I was putting that on my eyes. So I had to chuck it, but this is what the wand and the brush had looked like. Even though the bristles are uh, plastic bristle, they are very, very soft. I did like it the couple of times that I used it, but I don't think I used it enough times to actually give you guys a like, an honest review about this so I know that sometimes my work has samples of these I might try to pick one up if they do have one um, but right now I've been using the MAC Insta Curl Lash Mascara and I have been absolutely loving it so I mean I'm not too bummed out that I wasn't able to you know use this up because I do really love the mascara that I'm currently using and then speaking of eyes, I used up um, these Andrea Strip Lashes in um, number 33. So I can't remember what style this looked like, but I think it was pretty natural. I really do like Andrea Lashes. They're one of my favorites. I really like Kiss. I absolutely love Ardell. I pretty much like all lashes. And I'm a huge fan of MAC lashes too. So I have rarely been wearing lashes for the past couple weeks because I just during August I wanted to go on a no false lash wearing to see if um, my natural lashes like if it affected my natural lashes and if they would grow because I was using a lash serum as well um, I think I did notice a little bit of a difference but I have gone back to wearing fake lashes again so I um I've been using up a couple recently and I just really like the way they look I don't have a lot of natural lash so false lashes make a huge difference when I apply them and then I used up this small sample of the Rose Argan Body Conditioner, and it looks like this. So I literally scraped up as much as I could in the shower. Oh my goodness, it smells like Rose Jam. It's amazing. You put it on um, 
like wet skin in the shower and then you let it sit for a couple minutes and then you rinse it off sometimes I just put it on at the very end of my shower and I let it rinse off for like two seconds and then I get out and then I like towel pat my skin and it makes your skin super moisturized it doesn't feel sticky it just feels very hydrated and the scent is the exact scent of rose jam shower gel which is my all-time favorite so absolutely love this um I have the like big size as well like this is just the small size and then my sister actually got me a just because present the other day and she picked me up a rose scented um like gift from lush and it has like two bath bombs a, one of these in this size and then uh the smallest size of the rose jam and i mean she just went in because she wanted to get me a body wash and then she was asking about rose jam and the sales associate was saying that it only comes out in november um, that's when they like release it the earliest and so she picked me up this rose jam set and I just thought it was super sweet because I was kind of having an off day that day and then when I um, she came and got it and then came to my work and gave it to me and I opened it and I just thought it was like the sweetest thing my sister is literally like the most caring person in the world like she is super caring super sweet like super empathetic she could like, like feel that sometimes I'm not as much I feel like I'm not as emotional but so sweet so I have another one of these I have the like largest size in my shower and I don't use it like on a regular basis because I don't want to use it up but when I do use it I notice such a huge difference on how soft my skin is and then I finished these up these were um part of the swap that I did with Meg's makeup eight here on YouTube and they are the uh, first aid beauty facial radiance pads and this was the package that had 28 pads looks like this and it took me forever to use them up because I'm so bad when it comes to my skincare you guys already know this I like do my skincare routine and then like for a couple days and then I just like stop doing it for a week and then I do it again for a couple days and when I stick to it I do notice a difference when I first started using these so many people were like what is different about your makeup and I realized it wasn't my makeup at all it was my skincare routine it made my skin super nice super flawless it just glowing and it just looked like literally it looked radiant um but then once I stopped using them and I used them again I didn't notice a difference like barely at all so I wouldn't go ahead and repurchase these um because I the toner that I'm currently using has been doing a really great job and I just don't feel the need to use these um, the pads are convenient though for when you're traveling and stuff you can just take them instead of having to use like a big toner bottle and then put it into a travel size and hope that it doesn't spill and don't forget the cotton rounds so I did like them but I didn't like them enough to go ahead and purchase them myself and then the last item is I'm super impressed and proud of myself but it is a blush and this is a Maybelline master highlight highlighting bronzer and it's in the shade number 50 light bronze and as you can tell I completely use this up I this product is super soft though because when I would run my brush through it it would like go poof all over the place and I feel like I use this up in a short amount of time maybe like a month and a half two months now I do have another one in the darker shade let me see if I can grab it for you guys Give me one second technical difficulty but this one is in the shade deep bronze number 60 and it looks like this so this one I've barely used but it's a mosaic pattern and the light one was perfect for just using like as a natural bronzer it just looked beautiful and then I do also have a blush one as well and this is in the shade number 20 pink rose I purchased originally this was the first one I purchased on recommendation from uh, Melissa Autry which is like Melps something here on YouTube and I remember when she purchased this and she swatched it it looked beautiful so I went and picked this up and then I went and picked up the two bronzer shades and I do use this pretty regularly because it is such a beautiful shade but I went through the bronzer shade more because I use more bronzer than I use blush because I get really heavy-handed with my blush and sometimes I do have like that little clown blush look so shh, don't tell anyone but that is it for this video um I have quite a few other products that have just the smallest amount left that I probably sh will be filming another empties video in the next two or three weeks for you guys so keep an eye out for that I did film a um project what is it called no the seven summer flings challenge update number one for you guys previously so that's two videos 
in one day and I still have to work a nine hour shift later on today. So that is it for me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. You know I'm not forcing you to, but I really appreciate everyone who has. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. If you have used up any products that you've absolutely been loving, leave it down below and let me know. So that way maybe I can check it out. And that is it for me. I will, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.